So why is it not viable as a prescription option for us right now? Number one, when you approve a drug you know, in the system that we have, it needs to be consistent and pure and have a well-defined chemical formulation. It needs to have a consistent pharmacokinetic profile. So note that I said consistent twice. And that's the biggest problem when it comes to marijuana is that it, it isn't very consistent. It's an unprocessed plant that contains 500 chemicals with 100 cannabinoids, only two of which are really studied very much. And the rate shows can vary from plant to plant and there may be residual impurities and the dosing is not well regulated. So this really speaks to one of my biggest pet peeves whenever somebody over Thanksgiving dinner starts arguing with me about natural things. Right? They say, how can it be bad because it's natural? And I look at him and say, aspirin for headache. What does that come from? Anybody know? Willow bark. Thank you. So is it okay to just go eat willow bark when you have a headache? No. Tastes terrible and you don't know how much aspirin you're getting, right? That's why we take something that's natural and we synthesize it into something that's consistent that we can count on. Digitalis comes from foxglove, thank you. And if you eat a handful of it, you will probably die. It's natural, it's wonderful stuff. So natural marijuana, you know, it could be good or bad, but because it can't really be made consistent and not really well understood, then no, it's not really a medication in the sense that we think about medications when we're trying to study them and really get a sense for what they really do.